This is a short training video on how to use a couple of CodeGen's generic uh, tokens. Those tokens are author and company and can help you when you're building um, documentation header sections in generated source code. When you install CodeGen on Windows, um, one of the questions that the installer asks you once you've accepted the license terms is to enter your username and organization name. This information is then stored away in the registry and provides default values for these two tokens that we're talking about. So it's well worth setting these values correctly. Um, by default, the installer will pick up the settings from your Windows installation, but um, as you probably know, those things aren't already always accurate. You can fix that in the registry, actually. If you want to know how to do that, then a simple Google search will, uh, will assist with that. So let's go ahead and finish the installation of CodeGen. We won't display the documentation right now. So now we've got CodeGen installed. Um, let's go to a, a very simple little sample environment that I've got set up. And in here, I've got a very simple setup file. Uh, so let's run setup. All that's doing right now is setting the default location for my template directory and my output directory, both to be the current directory. And I've prepared a, uh, a very simple template that is a, a simple documentation header for a piece of source code. Um, as you can see, it's specifying the author name and using the author and company generic tokens. Um, if we um, close this template file, let's go ahead and generate some source code from that. So let's use CodeGen minus T demo. So we're going to generate from the demo template. I'm not referring to any repository based information in here, so I don't need to specify structures or anything like that. We'll just go ahead and generate and you can see, you can see it generated one file. And that file um, has its default name of, of the template name followed by the DBL file extension. And if we um, edit that file, you'll see that it indeed has picked up the name and, and company name that we entered during the installation. Um, if you want to override those settings at any time, then let's just edit our setup and you can override those settings from the registry by specifying um, a couple of environment variables, code gen author, uh, for the author name and you can also set code gen company um, some company ink uh, to specify to override the company name so let's go ahead and save that setup file and re-execute it so we've now got those settings in place and if we go ahead and regenerate our code of course we'll have to specify the minus r option now so that CodeGen will be able to replace the existing file that we generated a moment ago so we'll go ahead and regenerate that code and then we'll look at the results and as you can see um, those two tokens are now picking up their values from the environment variables rather than the defaults provided um, by the registry of course, if you're running CodeGen on a system other than Windows, then the environment variables are your mechanism for setting the values for those tokens in the first place. Obviously, there's no registry available on those other environments. Okay, let's go ahead and close that. As always, um, just a reminder that the documentation for CodeGen is available uh, on Windows, at least with CodeGen minus docs. Um, and you'll find the documentation for these tokens in the generic tokens section. So here we have author and here we have company along with all of the other generic tokens. And a reminder, generic tokens are tokens that can be used in any source file regardless of whether a repository structure is being used. Um, obviously, if you're working on another system, then if you want to access the documentation, um, then codegen.synergex.com uh, and you will find the documentation hyperlinked from that website um, so there's the online documentation that you can use if you again if you're not developing on a Windows system okay I hope you find this information useful